Okay. Hi there, Steve McGee uh, reporting in from another parliamentary sitting week. We've just finished Parliament at 20 to 6 on the 7th of March uh, today. Another busy week uh, and a great week. Uh, and some of the things that have occurred uh, this week, uh, we had a briefing on energy and the uh, planning for renewable energies, uh, moving away from gas, uh, those plans leading into 2035, um, some fantastic things. Uh, that we're providing, uh, obviously, some uh, rebates from the government in regard to people converting. Uh, but yeah, so a great a great briefing from the, the Minister for Energy, um, Lily D'Ambrosio. Also had a visit from uh, my parliamentary intern this week, who will be doing a research project over the next three months, uh, looking at diversity in Melton, uh, and how diversity is, and the growth of our multicultural communities, and the benefits to the Melton community in regard to having such a diverse community. So Natalia is her name, and if um, some people, I'll give her some contact details of different people, and she might want to come out and interview you or interview uh, members of the different communities that we have in Melton for her research project. Um, bells are going in the background for the upper house. They're just about to finish also, I think. Some legislation that was debated this week was a private security bill. Uh, and us beefing up uh, those things, in, improving standards and more regulation and things like that in regard to private security, but also hopefully supporting the workers that work in that industry to try and make sure that the standards, not only uh, workplace standards, but even employment standards and employment conditions are improved for them. But it's all about making sure we keep the community safe. The other one was the statute law. Uh, where there were many amendments made to about 13 pieces of legislation. Some of that just typographical and grammatical errors, but um, we really had to talk to that and clean up some of our old bills, for want of a better term. And the other legislation that was discussed was a constitution bill uh, regarding the SEC. And so that was debated all day on Tuesday or Wednesday. I can't remember which day now, the time's gone away from me. Um, but all those bills have been carried today uh, in Parliament and then they'll be sent off to the Upper House in the next sitting week. Some, I did a member statement about a number of events that have happened in the last few weeks in Melton. It was great to rattle off a number of the things that I've attended to. Uh, in particular, one of the things last weekend, the Flavor Fest um, event uh, at Aintree was a fantastic event. I and mean, I think over 20,000 people went through the gates there. Uh, beautiful day last Saturday when I attended and good on the council and everyone that uh, participated in that. But many other events, many multicultural events, the mosque open days, um, many uh, out to a couple of the play groups, the Punjabi group and the multicultural play group out at Arnold's Creek and the Punjabi one was at, and I'm thinking where it was and I've forgotten now, but not to worry, it'll come back to me. But it was great to catch up with um, a number of our different uh, community groups and family groups uh, and multicultural groups. It was terrific. Some events that have happened in Parliament this week. We've, today uh, was uh, a celebration of International uh, Women's Day and there was the unveiling of some portraits of two pioneering women uh, that played huge parts in the political history of this state. Judy Manigan, who was an ex-speaker of, uh, of this state, uh, not this particular state government, but a previous state government. Uh, and uh, there was a portrait of Judy uh, painted and a beautiful portrait, and she was here today. And Monica Gould, who was an upper house member, uh, again, uh, of a previous government, I think 1992, 94, something like that, that Monica came into parliament here. Uh, and might have even been the first woman in the upper house. Um, and, uh, the, uh, it was great to see both of them here, fantastic portraits of them. Many, many people came in today, many women came in today to celebrate this with their local politicians and the Premier uh, and the Speaker in, uh, of the Lower House made a lovely speech and the President uh, was there of the Upper House, Sean Lean, and it was fantastic. And I, I had two constituents come in, Comfort Kennedy, who's the, um, uh, the young, citizen of the year in Melton and Naomi her friend came in to um, celebrate International Women's Day and they're great ambassadors uh, of Melton uh, 
uh, great young women, and I know that they'll be at the event tomorrow that the Melton Council are putting on the the dinner that uh, or the luncheon that Melton Council are putting on tomorrow. So I know those two young women uh, will be here, and I met a lovely young woman from Flemington. Um, Miski, who's writing a poetry book, uh, which will be out in April. Um, she's going to send me some de details and we'll promote that uh, that book. Um, but just a lovely young uh, woman that is involved in a lot of the multicultural issues. Rural councils met with rural councils. Uh, the other thing that happened, Ali Man School brought in a, a year six uh, girls class. I was criticised the other week that I had a photo with just boys from Ali Man. Yes, we still, um, um, girls who came, came in this week and it was fantastic uh, to have them in here and they had a lot of questions and they had a good look around Parliament House, so it's great to see them here. And there are some other classes that will be coming through over the next couple of weeks. Um, Pink Hope were here. Pink Hope is a uh, uh, an organisation that helps uh, people with genetic cancers um, and they provide information and support days, they share events, uh, they download um, resources, they do webinars and online education. Fantastic organisation helping uh, people within our communities in regard to breast cancer and other things like that. That um, they're great support uh, and hopefully we'll be trying to get them out to Melton to do some sort of forum or discussion uh, out in Melton in the not too distant future. The other event that I attended was the Asian Leadership Program, and that was fantastic. Had many Asian members from our community here uh, and, and Monash University, and it was terrific to have them here. And it's about having people from our Asian community taking up leadership roles, uh, and that is important for all of our community. And last night after Parliament, many um, of the Labor politicians, because it was a Labor event, went to Victorian Trades Hall to the launch of the Labor Multicultural Launch. And that's where we're going to have people from all of our multicultural communities uh, get engaged with um, starting to be involved with things like local politics, state politics, federal politics, as you know, and having people um, representing their communities at all levels of politics and it's about mentoring people from the multicultural communities. And I'm not suggesting for one minute it shouldn't be not just multicultural uh, people that want to do this, but right across our community, anyone that's interested in politics, whether it be local, state, federal, should be involved, should get engaged. Whether you want to do it for the Labor Party, I would hate to do it for the Labor Party, but you know, people should be involved. Um, so that's the wrap up for the week, I'm pleased to say. It's now 10 to six, so it nearly took me 10 minutes. Um, and we're back to Melton tomorrow, big International Women's Day luncheon, and then off to a Nepalese event tomorrow night across at Digger's Rest. So it's been a great week. We're back again in two weeks' time. Um, busy time, back in Melton next week. Don't forget it's a long weekend. Drive safely. It's going to be hot weather. Stay cool, stay safe, and see you in Melton next week. Thanks. <laughs>